Hello, welcome to ClocksClocks.com on the internet, Hanson's Clock Shop in Solvang, California. We have an eight day cuckoo clock here, a seven leaf three bird, and it is 13 and three quarter inches long to the lowest carving here. That's not including the measurement of the weights of the pendulum. And the widest point here is nine and a half inches. And the deepest point on the wall is about five and a half inches. Well, this is all mechanical cuckoo clock here. It's powered by the weights. And um, it is all wooden. This is hand carved linden wood, all carved in the Black Forest of Germany by the Engsler Clock Manufacturing Company, Cuckoo Urn, um, since 1952. And it's an original Black Forest cuckoo clock. And it is VDS certified. That means the um, Association of Black Forest Clockmakers has. Um, certified that the components and the assembly is all made in the Black Forest of Germany. And this is the sound. At the top of the hour here, it will cuckoo whatever hour it is, two times for two o'clock here. Very smart bird. And it will cuckoo one time on the half hour. And the bird is all wooden. These hands are wooden. The dial's wooden. Case is all hand carved, linden wood. The weights are what power the clock. The one on the right here is for the cuckoo. You'll see this move down. They both move down about 12 inches in 24 hours. This weight is for the clock and it operates the pendulum, the hands of the clock. This one is for the cuckoo. This is how you wind it. I would help lift the weight up. I've had many people pull them completely, completely off the wall if they don't help lift the weight up because these weights are about six and three quarter inches and they're about 2.8 pounds each. And um, it has an on and off lever on the side, a manual on and off lever right here. So down is on, moving it up will turn the cuckoo off. Here's your VDS sticker that comes with the clock that certifies it's made in the Black Forest and comes with a certificate also in the box. This is where the sound comes from, the two bellows. We'll take a look in the back a little later and you'll see where the sound comes from. So I've turned it off here. And the clock will still keep running and keep time. It just won't make a cuckoo sound. So you can sleep. And um, then you have to manually, I'm going to move it back up, or down, I'm sorry, down turns it back on, and then it will resume cuckooing. Five times five o'clock. This is what the movement looks like. It's all brass and steel. This is where you hang the clock on the top. It's important to hit a stud on the wall too, or use a lag screw because of those heavy weights. There's your gong. This simultaneously gets struck when the uh, cuckoo hammer strikes it. And uh, this is what it looks like with the two bellows. Okay, and the movement's all brass and steel, no plastic. And it's marked Regula, the movement manufacturer in the Black Forest, synthetic 859 clock oil, excellent oil. And some patent dates here. The model number of the movement, number 34, Regula, and a date code next to it. Made in Germany, original Black Forest movement. And um, we come with a four-year warranty through Hansen's Clock Shop. Now here's your pendulum here. This is how you regulate the clock too. Sliding the leaf up the stick here will speed it up, down will slow it down. About three-eighths of an inch is about 30 minutes a day. So you're talking about small adjustments when you get it pretty close here. And you just move the leaf like so. Up will speed it up, down will slow it down to make your clock accurate. Um, it comes with a four-year warranty through ClocksClocks.com. Thank you very much.